that creating so many leaders to change life that everyone could mute their phones right now so that we don't have any background music that would be or sound. That would be great. We got a lot of sounds going on. All right, we want to talk about welcome um, about creating an army of leaders to create change lives, create freedom, which is our mission statement. Changing lives, creating freedom. And the changing lives part comes from the product and the opportunity, and the creating freedom part comes from the product and the opportunity. Opportunity, freedom from hassles, freedom from someone taking advantage of you, freedom from stress. That's our product. Freedom from debt, freedom from stress, from finances. That's our opportunity. So we really change lives, and we to, um, we're changing lives, and we're creating freedom. So that's what we do. The question is. How do you build an army of leaders? And I want to kind of go over real, I want to bring it home, bring it simple, because we just came out of Las Vegas. A lot of people are overwhelmed with the information, and we want to go back to the basics, because the basics are how you get to the black belt. There's seven moves in, in, in karate to get the black belt. You got to master seven moves. So you don't have to master a lot of things in this business, but you do have to master these four things. And one of them is using the product. So we're going to kind of go through these four things. Make sure you understand it is not difficult. Um, it's not easy to go out there and do the numbers uh, every day, day in and day out, emotionally. Sometimes you don't want to. But these are the things you do day in and day out. So we don't want to complicate it. We want to keep it simple. And so simple, but not always easy. All right? So what do, what do we do? Let's talk about it. We build with principles that last. So the use share coach duplicate system use the services to live worry, worry free. Use the system to use the services to build up your own testimonial. We're going to go through each of these. Share the service to get to PCQ. Players Club qualified. So we're going to build this. I'm going to show you based on PCQ that this is the key to simple growth that is sustainable. And that's what everyone wants. Everyone wants to check. It keeps growing. A team that does the basics because that's the solid part. Um, coaching others to do um, player performance club and then duplicating to go platinum. That's our talk today. First of all, use it to live worry free. Why do we use it? What is the big deal? Because the top producing associates are satisfied customers. If you recruit people that don't, don't use it, don't care about the service, don't care what it does for others, they may do well for a while, but they may be in and they may be out quickly because it is the satisfied customer that makes the best associate. So by using the service, what happens to us? We create powerful testimonials. We personally can save time and money. We personally get peace. We inspire. And because of those first three bullet points, we're inspired to share it. When you're using and it's having a benefit for you, it's a natural thing. When you go to a good restaurant, you want to share it. A good movie, you want to share it. So that's our foundational principle is to use the service. And then when you use the service, you're going to build your prospects' confidence in you because you know that you know in your heart, not from a script that you memorize, not from your posing and you're learning to, to memorize a script and then you're you know regurgitating it. That isn't the same as when your heart speaks through your mouth out to the person. That's where the prospects realize you really believe in this. And then also, and because of that belief, because of that passion, you're going to increase your sales and recruiting possibilities. So the foundation of all foundations is to use the service. Next, share it. When you share it, when you use it, you ha and your mouth opens, out comes some sort of passion, some sort of um, testimonial, and stories sell, facts sell. So we're sharing those testimonials. Even if you're using a consumer folder, when you share a testimonial, you, you're support, supporting the consumer folder with testimonials, and, and they can be yours or others. So empower them. When you share, you empower them, the prospect, to worry less and live more because you're sharing the product with them. You help the prospect save time and money. You help the prospect get peace and protection. And then for you, the first three are for the prospect when you're sharing it. The next one is for you, you create profitable base of referrals. Because if they like it, if they like the way you presented it, simple and with passion, then they're going to say, wow, so-and-so's got to hear this, so-and-so's got to hear this. Or 
uh, which is going to increase your sales, but then they may also be interested in doing what you're doing because it was fun and simple and full of passion. And that's where your recruiting possibilities um, increase. So you use it, now you share it, and the sharing can be a, a myriad of things. I could share it through a PBR, I could share it through a briefing, I could share it through an executive function. Different divisions share it differently. Somebody in the um, division of employee benefit division, they would be sharing it through maybe a lunch and learn, maybe a um, direct um, decision maker meeting. So you're still sharing it. So I want you to understand, when we teach on our webinars, our the, the business model, we have a business model that is an umbrella over all ways of going to a family, to an individual, a small business, an insurance agent, a broker, um, a company, all of the different areas that you can go out to the marketplace with our product, it's all, we're all going to be your, uh, somebody that recruits brokers. You're sharing the opportunity for this product to be moved through the brokerage, through their insurance company. You're sharing it in a certain way, but you are sharing it. So you use the product, it gave you a benefit, now you're going to share it to whatever end user is you're most comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with a broker or an insurance agent or the companies, then you share it with people you care about. So you go out there and share it with people you care about. But like Brielle, she cares about brokers having a great product that, that goes out to their employees. So for her, she's sharing it with passion. She's sharing the testimonial. She's sharing the consumer folder, all the simple things but she's sharing it to a different end user or, net, or end marketer, I should say, and that would be a broker, insurance agency owner. Um, no different than you going to a decision maker meeting and sharing it with a HR director. So that would be the same thing too. You'd be sharing your heart, sharing your passion, sharing the specifics of the product. A little bit more detail in those two, three arenas that I'm speaking of, the employee benefit and the insurance and the, the broker, but it really I want you to understand we all do the same thing in every division of this company. We are sharing what we know about a product to somebody so that they understand and the light bulb goes on for them, no matter who it is, from an individual to a family, small business owner, their employees, or the insurance or the broker division, or even CDLP, it's all the same thing. So use it and then share it. And then coach it. Okay, so now I have used it, now I have shared it, I have that experience. I know what I did. I made my list. I was calling a minimum number per day, key, a minimum number per day, every single day, no matter what, no matter how busy, N-E-W new. I am talking to, back here, the sharing, new people every day, day in, day out. I never stop filling my pipeline with people because it's just the way it is. It's a numbers game. No way to get around that, but I am sharing out of my mouth, my heart coming out of my mouth, and to that person with my passion. Now I simply say, okay, this is what I did. I went and saw, I see the people and I tell the story. That's what you need to do. So now this, the three, the green, is me. When I first started, it was just me alone. So I started to share with a satisfied customer. So let's say I had 25 sales or 20 sales and three of the 25 sales or 20 sales said, I want to do this business as well. Now I've got three people that are passionate not only as customers, but also said this is something I have to share with everybody. Everybody needs to serve us. So now by sharing the product, I also have the opportunity for them to expand with the business because they see it, they get it, they want to pass it on as well. So now I have three people, the greens are my first three. And then I have to coach those three to do what I did because I got my first three and then I'm going to coach the, the green to do the same thing, which they'll have their first three people doing the same thing. So what does that green person do? What does this person do? The same thing I did, which was I made a list to go out and share it. Now, again, this production could be literally, this could be somebody like a Brielle who shared it to an agency, agency, agency. These green can be individuals. These green, these green can be insurance agencies. These green can be a broker. These green, greens can be a company. These greens can be an individual. It's because a, a company right here, a company that has three employees, all right, that is, or five employees, that would be a, that would be a, a PC um, production right there, a company with five employees. Uh, so you you have to think that with with Legal Shield, you have, the net is huge. The net is huge, and it, 
and you have to match the opportunity up to the individual associate. So sometimes an associate should never step into the employee benefit arena. It's not their thing. Um, that's personally not my thing, all right? That is definitely Brielle's thing. It's amazing. So she sits there, but I am more the individual um, in the uh, family. I went to the, the entrepreneurs. I want to deal with independent, independent entrepreneurs, not really necessarily companies and brokers and such like that. But that's where Brielle fit. So I saw that with Brielle. I saw her fit. And I, as a coach, had to make sure she was, um, she literally started with recruiting. She was told, you know, recruit, recruit, recruit. You got to recruit, recruit. And that was the weirdest thing to her ever. And it, she didn't fit at all. So I had to notice that for her. She was passionate about the product, but the whole recruiting thing seemed wrong to her. It seems like that's not right. So for Brielle's, um, Brielle had to build the base of going out and sharing the service, using it, sharing it. Um, satisfied customers came forward. Referrals came forward. From referrals, she eventually got other customers and other companies. And then pretty soon, she's in the companies of the customers that she's um, serving. You know, those customers said, oh, you should talk to our company, or you should talk to our company, and pretty soon, now she moved from customer individual, she went into the company arena, and she did really well there, and then the company, she's starting to work with all these companies, and that's working really well, and then she started to realize these companies all have brokers, and then she moved into brokers, and and she did very well there, and that was her, like, um, C-level and broker level is what she thrives in, all right, but it took uh, about a year for us to see the evolution of that. And for somebody else, they'll never touch the broker or the small business or they'll love the recruiting. All right, Brielle didn't like the recruiting. Now she's recruiting because she has to because she has too much business. She needs a ton of enrollers and a ton of help. But um, in the beginning, she was just starting with that individual sale that got the referrals, that got opened the door to so many possibilities. Starts with sharing the product and getting a satisfied customer. So in um, my, our mentor, who's made $80 million in the industry, his 10%, one out of every 10 um, customers, so he would present to 10 customers, one would do the business. 10 to 15% of his customers were associates. That was his figure. So he was really building a lot of customers, and then some of the customers wanted to go further and become an associate member, not just a member, and, and also help others know about our great product. So first, we are doing those things, making that list, sharing that with people we care about, then we're coaching people to do the very thing we did, realizing you might say up here, the blue guy here, um, yeah, I talked to 20 people, and on my first 20 people, three, um, uh, maybe 14 people got the service in the first week, and three of them got started with me. Um, and now they're such and such position, and you just tell that story about how the business works, simple like that. Now realize this as we look at this chart. This is the, the very basic of all basics. This is probably going to be the majority of you, but I do want to touch on all the different options. This person in the blue could have five greens, they could be more B2B, let's say, and you can do yourself and five doing 10. You can be Shield Team 10, and that's also an ED position. This is an ED position based on our very, very basic um, behavior, which is Performance Club. So this is what we're going to be using for everyone in the masses, and uh, most people fit into this. Very select people um, are choosing a different division that has higher quality um, higher net quality, the higher sales per associate, and that would be the small business in the B2B arena. Those have higher sales per individual. So you really, in that arena, should be doing 10. You should be Shield Team 10 easy in that arena. So you would need five of these, these green people. So one person doing 10 that has five doing 10 is also an EED. This is an example of 12. This person would need 12 people. This is 5555. Five, five, five. That's a power 20 right there with um, simply doing the, power, the performance club. All right. Now, duplicate the fourth one. This is duplicate. Here's me. I've helped my three, and I've coached them. So I've coached three to coach three to go PC. Now I'm ED. Now I go and find another person that I helped do what I did. I teach them to coach three 
to coach three, so they go ED. Then I find another person that has that leadership desire and that growth desire. I teach them to coach three, to coach three, so they go ED, and then another one. And so now realize when you're you're building this, it doesn't always look like this. I may have recruited the blue and recruited the green, and this orange person right here, down here, that might be my ED. All right, that's the one that wants to run with this. So it doesn't necessarily mean the person that you're talking to. So I'm um, going through the top prospects. I'm calling the 10s, the 9s, the 8s, going out there into the marketplace. I understand that I am a sales and marketing company looking to expand into the local marketplaces and beyond. So I know when I, I'm a very intentful, purposeful entrepreneur that understands I need people marketing the services to more people in this area and beyond for those people that are willing to do the marketing, willing to do the, the, the numbers, willing to talk to the people, willing to get access to the companies and the brokers and the insurance and the individual agents and, and expand, expand, expand. So it could not, maybe it's not your person that you knew that they might know somebody and they might know somebody and it might even go further, 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 further. It doesn't matter. You're looking for an, an, an executive director um, mindset, somebody that understands what it takes and is willing to do what it takes. So this doesn't necessarily mean the person you sponsor directly to you and then everything they personally sponsor directly to them, but that you're looking for someone somewhere that says, I will go PC consistently, and I will go PC consistently in this sales organization and same over here. So the same thing with looking for your PCs and your different organizations and the people that are willing to go and coach other people to do what they're doing, you're looking for that. It doesn't matter how deep that is, but it's that it's three or more um, sales organizations wide is what you're looking for. And then and then developing that person first to the PC Power 20, and then the next step is to the ED. Or actually, now we have 25, um, Director 25, and then, then on up. So the question is, this is our team mission, coach and develop leaders. And once they're a leader and they get it, that this is about servant leadership and you're helping people to understand the value of the product, create satisfied customers, that um, coaching and developing leaders that create satisfied customers is going to be a solid, real business. It's not going to be, you know, um, hey, I got a text and I'm going to be excited for two seconds or something like that. It's going to be a real business. And some of you have heard, you know, um, I know Mr. Steve Hales on the phone was had was really touched by a speaker at the event, and he was saying, well, I got to be able to, whatever I do, in five minutes, everybody needs to be able to do what I do. And so I was thinking about Allstate, I was thinking about Northwest Mutual, I was thinking about a real estate agent, I was thinking about anybody who is in a professional sales um, business, do they learn what they learn in five minutes and then they pass it on? And so what that meant, okay, so some people take it literally and, and really we're, we, we could, I could get started, somebody could show me a consumer folder and use a video like a how the membership works video, and I'm like, there's my visual, there's my piece of paper that I can look at all the little um, parts of product line, and then I can go over to somebody else the next five minutes, and I can say, point to the consumer, basically read it, I can even have a script next to me, read it to my friend or my mom or something like that, because I'm so excited about what I heard, and then show the video, and they go, wow, this is so unbelievable too, and that can actually be done, you know, in the same day, so somebody can, you don't have to make it so difficult. So you can use a video or a tool or something to the magazine um, to open up and you can read it. You don't have to have to memorize it. And, and so even um, some people have made their first sales by taking the consumer folder and reading, having the script next to them and literally reading it and the person's like, this is unbelievable, and they get started. So do what you got to do, but just we don't look for perfection, we look for progress. We're not looking for perfection. And so, yes, you can do a lot of things, but we are, are not. We're looking to coach and develop leaders. Leaders are those that say, I need to get better. I need to learn this better. I need to per perfect my presentation and how I talk to people so I have more impact in the market, which brings us to if you're ready to build an ED team, here are some realities. This is, so what do you do here? This is the top thing 
that's the share part. If I want to increase my possibilities in the marketplace and somebody says, well, what do you do? I want to be able to um, answer that question with a simple answer. Down here, transitioning to the next step, that was the number one need. So that means I'm meeting somebody or I'm, I'm talking to somebody and they're kind of interested. Can I transition to the close? Can I transition to the next step to get their card? Do I like talk to somebody in the marketplace and I'm not, first of all, impactful in what I say? So then when they ask me what do I do, out comes a ridiculously long, complicated answer. And then, or let's say I got that right, so what do you do? I've got that right, and they're like, wow, that's pretty interesting. They're interested. And now I don't know how to transition from somebody that's kind of interested to actually making the next step. So what is the next step when somebody says, wow, I'd like to know more about that? All right, and then I can't, of course, the second most biggest need is increasing our prospecting. You can see that here in the row. We looked at that, and this is all your feedback from Shield Nation. And the top incomes, look at how many people, almost 20, almost 20 for 250 and almost 50 for, for 500. So you add those together, you have about 80% of the people on this phone are wanting to make $100,000 or more, which means we got to get better. Okay, you can't just like train your $100,000 income in five minutes. You need to learn how to do things as a professional in the in the business. So the answer, what do you do? We have that now. Um, I want to show a um, on the website. I'm, I'm not sure. Trish, are you there? What do you do? Here are the answers in in the workshop at Shield Nation. This that I protect and empower people, their families, and businesses with world-class legal and identity theft services that save people money and help them worry less and live more. All right? You might not like that. You may say, wait, that's way too long. Or number two, I help people have peace of mind, worry less, and live free. How about you? So you learn all, there's a lot of different ones. I put them all on here from the workshop. You can see 25 different answers so that you can say, I like this one, or this fits with the division I'm in, or this is much better, this is way better than what I'm doing. But the key of this, this question is, are you spending time? How long have you perfected your answer to what do you do? So if we have tell me, show me, let me, grow me right here, in order for you to share the story, you can use the product, the next step in your success. Everybody's like, what do I do, what do I do? How do I build a big company? How do I build the ED? How do I build a plant? And this right here, you need to share right there. All right, and coach, once you get the sharing down yourself, you'll be able to coach and duplicate real easy. All right, but the sharing, if you are a believer in this product, then success starts with sharing. And so I want you to go to, um, it's probably up on the, uh, it'll definitely be next to this webinar, that, that Word document on, on the different ways to respond to what do you do. But we want to remember also one other thing on what do you do. Passion comes through your mouth. Okay, to become a master prospector, passion, practice, 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 practice. After you, you release that um, what do you do answer and there is, you know, it falls flat, and you go back to your car, you go walking around town as you're going to your next appointment and you're practicing, you're practicing, you're practicing, you're practicing until it is a new normal for you. It just pops right out. You're so confident, but you're not um, regurgitating something. You're passionately expressing something, so the impact is there. And so that's um, really what we wanted to talk about, the idea that sharing, use, share, uh, coach, and duplicate. So what do you do is a common question that happens every day to people. It's an engagement. You can ask somebody else what do they do, so they ask you. And these are the kind of things you need to know. And our key is that we are building an army of um, leaders that coach, that use the service, share the service, coach, and duplicate. So over to you, Bob. Bob Cohen, are you hey, open? Nars, can you hear me? Oh, John. Yeah, hi, hi John. Hey. Is, uh, uh, well, while Bob's getting off mute or whatever, I just wanted to say, it just landed in Detroit, so uh, just uh, really excited. Hey, what? What a phenomenal call! I, I got into about five minutes late, but just listening to the conversation and and uh, uh, the training, you know. And Darcy, I was talking to you know Mr. John Drennan yesterday uh, in respect to what you just went through. Uh, what I like about what you just shared is is and and you know documentation certainly beats conversation. You're going to give people an opportunity to have a visual. You're going to give people an opportunity to see the simplicity 
and uh, uh, benefits of kind of staying focused on the basics. You know, here's what I mean. If you think of price to promise for a second, the promise of what we have is just second to none. And the, the, we constantly try to communicate as servant leaders to an amazing organization what Legal Shield can do for you. You know, if you're willing to commit to treating it like a business, strike while the iron's hot, the basics, you know, that those simple daily disciplines, financial independence, time freedom, uh, the ability to associate with some of the greatest people in the world, uh, just to have fun and protect the families, making a difference. But if you can take a look at that, you know, C3 and to C3 to PC, you start to get a good idea of how simple it really is to qualify for executive director. When you can kind of see the future through the promise, I believe you're more willing to commit to the price. And when you can see that you're filling in your first associate box, and then your next associate box, and then your next one, and their performance club qualified, you know, the foundation of our business, what Darcy's been talking about, you know, this morning. You know, so there's, there's you're doing five, now you've got 15, you know, memberships on your front line is a very minimal. Um, I, I'm a big believer in Shield Team 10. You know, if the company says five, I believe in Dublin. If the company says two-a-day exposures, I believe in Dublin. I, I don't believe in ever doing, you know, letting my minimum become my maximum. But anyhow, um, you know, so now that you kind of see that your team's in place, you've got that visual. You're duplicating what Darcy's talking about by having everybody in, on your team committed to the C3 to C3 to PC equals ED. You know, they're starting to fill in their little box, and they're committed getting their team, you know, the coaching side, tell me, show me, let me grow. They're getting their team committed to the performance club. Boom. You know, you, you realize, hey, I'm 30 days out. I'm 60 days out. So let me keep the, you know, pedal to the metal. Let me keep the throttle wide open. Let me keep doing the main, keep the main thing, the main thing, seeing the people telling the story. And, and you can, you know, you can see yourself walking right into that ED level, but you're walking into the ED level you know, with a behavior and consistency that doesn't put you in a maintenance mode, but puts you in a momentum mode that builds upon itself. So just a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, job. I wish I could see the webinar, but I am familiar with the forms and everything Darcy's talking about. And so again, Darcy, masterful job, um, absolutely phenomenal. And I know I'm going to carry some of this conversation into the Super Saturday this weekend in Detroit. We got an executive luncheon today. I know it's going to be sold out. And uh, just couldn't be a better time to be part of this great company. Uh, thanks for all you do. Hope you're enjoying New York. Happy birthday to you, my love. Uh, back to you. And I'm sending hey, it out to Bob Cohen, Mr. Bob Cohen. I am here. Yep, I was muted somehow. Hey, uh, fantastic information, Darcy. Thanks again for always sharing and pouring into us. And uh, here's what I want to do, folks, is, you know, we just got back from an unbelievable, absolutely fantastic conference. Uh, truly one of the best I've seen in my 16 years with the company. And what I'd like you to do here is go ahead and raise your hand, and we'd love to hear from you uh, talking about these four topics. How did you, this week, how did you either use the service, how did you share the service, did you coach anybody, and what are you doing as far as duplication? Okay, so we definitely want to hear from everybody. While you're thinking, let me go ahead and share my very exciting week. I'm still here in California working with the team, and let me just share the, the, you know, Wednesday. Absolutely phenomenal day. It was down in Orange County with Denise Baldwin, and our first appointment of the day was a breakfast with a brand new associate, um, just an just unbelievable sweet gal named Laura. She's brand new, and, uh, you know, like every brand new associate, you know, you know very hesitant. Uh, this is, she's never done something like, like what we're doing, having a home-based business. And it, what, the first thing we did was we, you know, we did a getting started right uh, interview with her. You know, find out her goals. You know, share with her what's our goal here to fast start qualify. But what we did was we actually picked up the phone and we put a call into Parker Stanberry. You know, she had never used an attorney, and that was the very first thing we did to kind of just get her used to the idea of having access to top attorneys. We showed her how the app worked. And we put a phone call into Parker. Now Parker's calling her back. So boom, you know, check check that one off. Next thing we did, we started working on her list. And uh, Laura didn't know too many people, and she thought, you know, she was very concerned about that. And we said, no, that's not a problem because it's not who you know, it's who they know. You know, the concept of asking for referrals. So what we do, we sent a text 
to her dad who lives out in uh, Arizona. And the text was real simple, everybody. It was just like, hey, dad, can you verify your, your mailing address? I want to send you out something. Uh, I just started a brand new business. Just like that. Nothing crazy. The father gets back to her, you know, confirms the address, says, hey, honey, what are you working on? You know, we go and, uh, you know, send some information about Legal Shield. And uh, lo and behold, the father had had Legal Shield back in the day. And uh, for some reason, the membership stopped. Well, guess what? The father wants to get uh, Legal Shield again. And so it's just a, it's an amazing story here. And, you know, now Laura is just on the ceiling here. But, you know, you, you know her, her belief level is through the roof because, wow, you know what? My dad actually wants to get the service. This is exciting. What's exciting for all of us is now we're going to be out building in the, in the Arizona market, finding out, you know, who does, who does the father know to, again, keep sharing uh, the Legal Shield story. And so that's just a quick, quick example there of the breakfast. We got together with another brand new associate, Sheila, who came out to Vegas. Uh, we actually had a sit-down lunch with a real estate friend of hers. And Darcy, it's just, it was so funny because the body language, you know, the arms are crossed, the legs are crossed, you know, kind of what are, what are, you, what are you sharing with me here? And uh, this particular lady, Diane, never heard of Legal Shield. Absolutely amazing, folks. And as I did the consumer folder presentation, we talk about it all the time, folks, the consumer folder presentation, sharing the story, sharing how Legal Shield helps people live better, enjoy life. Well, guess what? The arms started opening up. You know, would this have covered this situation? You know, you think I could have used it here? And we absolutely just kind of opened our eyes a little bit more. And again, folks, every day, if you have a goal of at least one presentation a day, at least one, and then work with at least five people to do the same. See, that's a six-figure income that uh, Darcy always talks about. Um, my next appointment was an HR appointment. Uh, my brother Jerry happened to be at a, at a, at a function. He met a, a gentleman that works for the House of Blues. His background's HR. And so what did Jerry do? He said, hey, you know what? You should probably talk to my brother. He does benefits. He's actually in town. And sure enough, we had a, a, a sit-down appointment. What did I do, folks? I brought a brand-new associate. Uh, her name is uh, Jillian. She came out to Las Vegas, super excited. Well, guess what? Jillian saw me do the consumer folder presentation in front of this uh, gentleman named Chris. And, uh, you know, it opened the door. Of course, Chris being HR, he really doesn't make the decisions. Now we're going to go up the food chain. But Chris is probably going to get the membership himself. Okay? And again, and I'm always doing, when I'm out there in the field, folks, I've learned to always bring an associate with me. You know, we call it two-by-two two training. And uh, again, that appointment went really, really well. Last but not least, the Wednesday evening, we actually did a PVR at Jillian's house. Denise Baldwin showed up, Sheila showed up, four guests showed up, including a neighbor. And what did we do? We pushed power, we pushed play, and we got out of the way. And it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, these folks are going to be coming out now to the Saturday. They're doing a big blitz out here in California to come and see the bigger picture. And I just I gotta I gotta just kind of laugh because that Wednesday we covered all areas of Legal Shield. We covered from the brand new associate, you know, how to help them start using the service, how to start sharing the service, and then for the, throughout the day we were coaching other associates how to use the consumer folder, okay, and then how to how to have duplication by pushing power, pushing play, and get out of the way. So I just wanted to kind of open up you know, the, the talk here, because folks, if you can just get into that habit of exactly what I'm sharing here on a daily basis, you, guess what? Money game is absolutely out of the way. And uh, Darcy, any comments about, you know, something like that that I just shared? Um, no, I think that's awesome, because that is simple. Use the, the foundation was the membership. The foundation is how great what we do can help people. And if that doesn't inspire somebody, like we learned on last week's webinar, the week before, if you your number one is for people to get passionate about your product and they're not, there is no number two. So when people go, I'm trying to get people and they're not coming in, well, they may not be coming in your business because they're not passionate about what we do. And if they if you if they're not using the product or wanting to use the product or seeing the value of the product or seeing the value of helping people with the product, you really don't have a number two. So it's nothing to do with you. 
So I would say what you're doing, and when you presented, I noticed every time you had success, they saw the value of what our product does for themselves and for others. Then you've got step two. And so that's exactly what happened to your success. Sometimes you don't have step, step two because they're not passionate and it's just not a fit for them. That's okay. Who do they know? That's referral. Okay, so either way, you've got an opportunity to expand your business, even if they're personally not interested, because you're definitely going to see who they know that would be a good fit for us. So definitely, awesome job. Love it. Uh, yep, you're absolutely right. And, you know, everyone, you know, this is a critical month for Performance Club, especially for the uh, incentive trip here next June. And so how do you qualify for the Performance Club? It's all about activity. It's all about seeing the people, sharing the Legal Shield story, keeping the main thing the main thing. Uh, Mr. Hoffman talks about this all the time. We can't control what a guest is going to do, but we can control what's our activity on a daily basis and we can our attitude, you know, on a daily basis. So uh, let's run out to the uh, Lafredos, just a tremendous couple, six-figure ring earners, millionaire club members out of the Arizona market. Uh, do we have Brenda or Jerry? We have Jerry. Hey, fantastic, Jerry. Welcome. Hey, Dad. Thanks, Bob. Uh, and wow, uh, this is a this is a phenomenal uh, uh, training here, and something everyone needs. I would like to to add well, one thing uh, or uh, one observation about having a good uh, elevator uh, elevator speech or or ten second or thirty second commercial is is when you get that down pat. What I've noticed is is my new new people new people starting up have more confidence. Confidence. Their posture is different because they have something. They're not worried, and they have something to say right away, and they know how to follow it up. So I think that's a really great reason to have one or two or three of these uh, elevator uh, speeches, uh, you know, really down pat because it make it it gives confidence, and they're more likely to end up with a sale. But I'm going to tell you about experience I had that that relates directly. Uh, I was coming back from uh, one of the events, and uh, and I had my suit on, my lanyard. It said Legal Shield, and this retired couple, older retired couple, said, uh, uh, you know, I started a conversation with them, and I had 11 floors to do it. And uh, uh, as it turns out, he's a retired Honeywell engineer, and uh, and he asked me the question. I talked to him. He asked me a question. I've seen a lot of you people. What is Legal Shield? What do you guys do? And it was perfect. So I had my uh, my uh, my ten second commercial because uh, that's all I had in riding up the elevator. And he said, "Wow, I wish I'd have talked to you two years ago." And I said, "Why is that?" He said, "I had an identity theft, and it cost me a good piece of change and a lot of uh, uh, of time to fix it." And uh, he said, "Hey, uh, you know, can I have your card?" So uh, I mean, it was it was hitting the right person at the right time and it just didn't take long to make that connection now he is there for this whole week uh, but he's going to call me on Monday so uh, there's a perfect example of how this works uh, back to you Bob hey Jerry thank you so much and you're absolutely right and you know folks every day are we advertising our legal shield business you know would you be accused of being a legal shield associate and what do I mean by that? You know, do you, are you wearing the, you know, the, the polo shirts? You're wearing the, the dress shirts that say uh, Legal Shield. Uh, and if you're not, you know, you're missing a, a, a just a great opportunity to be out and about um, expanding your business. So uh, thanks again, Jerry. Let's go out to uh, Mr. Marv Worthy. Marv, just fantastic time hanging out with you. And, and just again, uh, thanks so much for all that you do and just sharing your story. Uh, I had a brand new associate come out, Mr. Mike Wilson from North Carolina, and just what a what a great story you have, Marv. And uh, just uh, go ahead, and I'd uh, love to hear from you. Well, I appreciate that, Bob, uh, and I enjoyed uh, obviously spending time with you and meeting some of the people that uh, you're directly re re working with and coaching. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal webinar. I just met yesterday, uh, Darcy, with uh, one of my associates. And this webinar today was exactly what she had a challenge with. And, and, and so I hope she's on, on, on the webinar because you answered every question and removed every objection with this, with this training, just absolutely perfect in terms of timing. I want to talk a little bit to the, the whole idea of meet the people, share the story. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you right now, 
that since I've been back, everyone I've spoken to, most of their reaction is, where were you a month ago? Where were you last week? Where were you, et cetera, et cetera. My point is that there are people waiting to get the service. They're just waiting for you to tell them that you have it. Trust me when I tell you. Strike while the iron is hot. There are people having challenges at every level, and we have the solution. So meet the people, tell the story. Secondly, let me speak to the whole idea of passion. When you use the service and you know it impacts you and your life and your family and the people that you know, love, and respect, when you go out and you deliver that because, it's because you have personally been impacted by what this service can deliver, it makes all the difference in the world. But there's a second angle of passion. You have to be passion, passionate in how you get people to get the membership. Let me give you an example. I say to a woman I met with a week or so ago, I said, let's get this done. You know I got, but I'm going to get it done. I said, Tracy, don't break my heart. She said, what do you mean, Marvin? I don't want you to make that phone call to me and say, Marvin, guess what? I'm a victim of identity theft, and you're going to break my heart because i got to find the courage to tell you that although I can service you now, you're going to have to come out of your pocket because it's pre-existing. You can take five minutes right now and eliminate that worry. She said, where's the pen? The passion has to be throughout what we do in the beginning and telling the story, being the people telling the story and how we share our stories of how we use the service and how we close the business with passion. And so thank you so much, Darcy. Back to you, Bob. Oh, thank you, Marvin. You know, we always say there's a there's always a sale being made. You know, are you selling them or are they selling you? And uh, the story you just shared there, Marv, absolutely. Uh, you know, you know, you know in your heart how absolutely vital this service is for people, and you're not taking anyone's baloney. So good for you. Uh, let's run out to Steve Hales. Steve, also great to see you out in uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, I know you're probably a, a changed person, just like all of us after seeing that amazing event, and I'd love to hear your comments. Oh, thanks so much, Mr. Cohen. Can you hear me all right? We sure can. Okay, great. Um, I just wanted to speak to uh, something that's, that kind of resonated with me, and I think Darcy um, referenced this a little bit um, as to our conversation, and, and something that's sticking in my head was, was something they said was, was, can a dud do it to a stud, right? Well, I think Shield Nation's method is taking a dud like me three years ago and turning me into a stud. And I'll give you an example. Uh, two weeks before the convention, I got an email from a lady who um, is a financial advisor for a pretty big firm. They manage like $650 million in assets for 250 clients. And one of her new clients is a top executive with Johnson & Johnson, and she has Legal Shield as an employee benefit. And so the financial advisor who's meeting with her client decides, well, maybe this is something we should offer to all of our clients. So I get an email. I respond to the email, figure out who she, who she is. And let me tell you something. Three years ago or, or just under three years ago when I got started with Legal Shield, there was no way that I could have met with this person knowing what I knew about her uh, going in. But I did. I sat down with her, used the consumer folder presentation, and um, – shared my passion, my story. Um, she then wanted us to present to both firms. There's one in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and one in Virginia. So I mailed uh, copies of the consumer folders to both offices with a flat sheet for the small business plan because most of their clients are small business owners with employees. And because I was on the plane, I leveraged the team. I leveraged Mr. Hoffman, and, and he actually leveraged Mr. Patril, who did the presentation over the phone for this firm, um, and it went over great. There's a, a number of the advisors that are signing up for the plan themselves, and they definitely want to be able to go through me to, to sign up all of their, their clients or offer this to their clients. So I guess my point is you don't have to start out a stud. You don't have to be able to do the consumer, consumer folder presentation three minutes or five minutes after you first hear it. You have to take the time and you have to be coachable, and you have to go through the system to be able to, to, to do that. And if I can do it, anybody can do it, that's for sure. So I just wanted to leave you with that. Um, thanks so much, Darcy. This webinar has been phenomenal.
Dave, for people that don't know your background, can you tell them where you worked for eight years? Three years ago, I was working in a factory for, I was there about seven years at that point. And so you went from a factory, factory worker talking to factory workers on the line, right? And that right. was your conversation all day long for eight hours a day. And now you're talking to um, insurance agencies and independent agents and associates that want to own their own companies and big companies like this one. So you have definitely, this team mission, Coach and Develop Leaders, is definitely a perfect example of what has happened with Steve. So back to you, Bob. Awesome, Doug. Yep. I love it. And, and Steve, by no means, is, is a dud. Uh, the guy is absolutely awesome. And it's just a great example, folks, that you never want to prejudge anybody. What Steve has is desire. He's got his greatness inside him. And uh, thanks to Legal Shield, thanks to Shield Nation, that greatness has been able to, to come out. Now he's associating with, you know, millionaires, and it's just so, so exciting to see his growth. And it's, uh, it's available to everybody. It, it truly, truly is. You know, if, if you're all on this habit of getting onto this webinar on a weekly basis, you know, this, this webinar is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So, so congratulations for everybody. Remember, folks, we do have the playback, 24-7 playback of these webinars, of, of you know, previous webinars. Go to shieldnation.com. Go into the, uh, let's see, the events tab and then the webinar tab, and you'll, you'll be able to, to, to get it anytime you'd like. But the key is, in fact, I just had a sit down with a couple brand new associates last night, and um, they were just, you know, because they work here during the Friday morning uh, hour, uh, they were so excited to hear, oh, there is a playback. The key is, folks, you've got to schedule the playback. You've got to schedule it in your schedule. Otherwise, you're just going to go through another week. Darn it, I missed it, I missed it, I missed it. So don't do that to yourself. Um, Darcy, I just want to read a couple questions. <clears throat> Some people sent in Jim. I think it's Jim Custer. He says here, I used the service um, twice, shared with 35 people so far this week, have business to submit today. So fantastic, Jim. Congratulations. Um, I think we've got Tiffany, maybe. It, it, your name cut off here. I talked to the law firm yesterday about documents to sell a car. Peace of mind is priceless. This is an amazing, helpful seminar. Uh, so I needed to take Darcy back to the basics. Thanks. Um, so again, folks, uh, you know, the stories are out there. Share the stories. And uh, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. On a scale of 1 to 10, just grade yourself. Rank yourself on the use of the service. Are you sharing the service? Are you coaching others to use the service? And then finally, are you duplicating? Just give yourself a little report card, you know, on a daily, weekly basis. Did I have I used the service? You know, if you have numerous times, great. You're a 10 out of 10. How about sharing? Are you sharing it on a daily basis? Are you a zero? Are you a one? Are you a five, ten? You know, only you can answer that question. Coaching, what are you doing as far as helping your team? Are you, you know, calling your team, especially your brand new associates, you know, who maybe don't know what to do yet? And then finally, look at your results. Are you duplicating? You know, do you have performance club qualifiers on your team? That's the, that's the big magnifying glass right there. So there's, those are just a couple points that I wanted to, to, to bring up to everybody. Um, with that, we're going to go ahead and, and wrap this up. Again, July is a critical month, folks. We've got a big weekend, lots of events going on throughout the country. Take advantage of the momentum. Take advantage of the, the lilac the situation going on there with the FTC, you know, suing these guys, uh, stock dropping 49%. Folks, uh, strike while the iron's hot, as, as Mr. Hoffman uh, says. And Ms. Darcy Hoffman, uh, back to you to, to close it out. Well, I hope uh, everybody saw a very complicated thing become very simple because simplicity is the key to duplication. If, if you have it simple in your mind, that, and the, the thing that Bob said, share, 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 and share more. Um, when you think you're all done for the day, share one more time. And that's where we're at. This is the window of opportunities you have. Everything you do today pays you next month. So you're always a month or two out for your pay, so think about what you're doing today as something that you're going to be building your dream for tomorrow. So uh, that there is no webinar next week because it's the end of the month, and we'll see you at the 1st of August. Close out this business, 149 for the rest of the month, and um, let's go build an army of leaders. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Awesome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.